Hello, my name is Molly Giannis with Echo Consulting, and today we are going to give you a quick tip on how to link to a specific row in Smartsheet. So I'm going to go to a template that I have. Um, so I'm going to one of our demos, and it's just a regular project demo. And here what I have is I have a project plan that might have a series of different tasks and artifacts and, and approvals and deliverables, right? And I have what we call a CRADE log, and that is your risk issue log, your action item log, your decisions, and then if you needed your changes as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume that I have a risk and um, I need to link to a specific task that is associated with that. So here's a risk locking a specific task, okay? Now, there's two different things that I could do here, right? The first one is I could come over here and I could actually um, go ahead and link it to a specific um, cell in another sheet, right? So I could come here, I could go to my, um, my templates, and I could link it to a specific cell, right? A specific cell. So um, let's just uh, go to an example. I've got so many different things here now. Um, let's go to one of the demos. I'll just log in from here, okay? So I'm gonna show you what linking to a specific cell looks like. What it's gonna do is it's gonna pull the information from a specific cell. So for example, I could pull this information here, create the link and it has pulled in the information, it is linked from a different grade log in another place, right? That's all well and good, but what if I wanna link to a row of information? Not a single cell, but actual a row. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna drag and drop it down, right? And we're gonna do number two here. And for this one, um, I'm gonna actually add a link to a specific uh, row in another plan. Okay, so I'll click save here, and then I'm going to actually go to a project plan in this case. And so demo example, task two, for example, right? And rather than link to a specific cell, I actually want to be able to take you to this specific project plan to this specific row. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna come all the way down here to properties, okay? So I'm going to click on properties and in properties, I have this row link, which is a link to row number 10, the specific row on this specific project plan. Okay. And I'm going to click copy. Control C is what I just did, but I can do it this way instead if you want. So copy, you can see, I'm going to close this. I'm going to come over here and here I'm actually going to paste. And again, I'm going to have to go control V. Oopsies. Control V, and now I've added that. And that's all well and good, but I don't really know what this is. So I'm actually going to right click again, and I'm going to actually hyperlink it um, so I can click on what the um, item is. And I will say demo task number two. Click that. And now I have hyperlinked a specific reference to another sheet, to another row of information, right? Here, I pulled in the information from a specific cell. Here, I actually linked to another row in another sheet, okay? So if I click on this, I would expect a new tab to open up. And I would expect that it is going to specifically go to that row that I indicated. So it's loading, it's loading, it's gonna take a moment. And here we go, I have gone to demo example task number two. Now, right now, this demo project, right, only has like eight to 10 tasks, so not that exciting. But if I have a project plan with 400 lines or even 100 lines, it's frustrating when I'm just adding a link to this project plan, right? I want them to go to a specific task or a specific set of tasks. And by doing this and using properties and clicking on the row link, I am taking them to a specific task. So very important. And I want to just clarify, this is a different use case, right? Than doing a predecessor where I am setting a predecessor or dependency between tasks 
in an existing plan. In a separate tooltip, we'll, um, I'll try to do that in the, in the next little bit. Um, I'll actually talk about cross-project dependencies. But for right now, this was how to link a specific row in a specific sheet to a, another sheet. And I typically do this in the examples of risks or issues or cross-project dependencies or action items where I want to reference something else, okay? So thanks for your time. Again, my name is Molly Giannis. I am with Echo Consulting and we're a project management solutions firm and we are SmartSheet aligned partners and we do a lot of SmartSheet solutions. If you'd like to learn more about us, don't hesitate to reach out, set up a, a quick meeting um, or subscribe to our channel because we'll do lots more videos like this to help you with your SmartSheet solutions. Thanks.